YouTube fam, it's the Southern Girl, Shantae LaVette. And yes, guys, I know it's been a minute since I have been on the tube. I have really been missing y'all. So just a quick update. I have been just hanging out with my family. My youngest son finally graduated. So we got through prom, graduation, and he is now getting ready to join the armed services. I just wanted to spend a little time with him before he actually uh, goes on to start his life. So a couple things have changed. You know, I had told you guys in a, I think in a past video that I had gotten some new editing software. So I have been playing around with that, trying to learn the ins and outs before I tried it out. Today is the first video that I'm using my new software with. And I also got a new camera. Yes, I ended up getting a new camera. I actually got a Canon Rebel T5i. But I'll list all the information in the description box. I feel like I got a really good deal on the camera. My Sony Nexus 5R, uh, I started having some issues with the screen and I'm sending it out to be repaired. And I had had that camera for about, it was going on about four years. I thought now would be a, a great time to go ahead and get a newer camera. Let me stop all of the rambling. And on today's video, it actually is a requested video and I just want to give a shout out to all of the people who requested this video. So you'll see their names. I just want to let them know that I appreciate it and that I was thinking about them when I did this video. And that is how to lengthen store-bought drapes. One of my pet peeves is high water drapes or drapes that are hung right at the casing of the window. So what I'm going to show you today is a very easy way to tie colors together. It can be a way to add color to your drapes if you need it. And it's a way that you can really personalize your drapes for your own space. I started on this video and I had the footage, but I never finished. I don't know why I never finished. Let's jump into this video. So here's a list of the supplies that you'll need. You will need an iron, a tape measurer, some stick pins, a seam ripper, most important, a great pair of scissors, heating bond or some type of bonding tape, stitch witchery will do as well, whatever you have at your local store, a damp cloth, and your choice of fabric, at least two yards. So guys, this is my hall bathroom and I want to lengthen these drapes. I typically use drapes um, for my shower curtain panels. I usually don't use the standard shower curtain, but I want to take them all the way up to the ceiling because I'm going to eventually make a valance for this bathroom once I find the appropriate fabric. First things first, you want to measure how tall do you ultimately want your drapes to finish out. So I'm going all the way up to the ceiling and taking my first, taking my measurement. Now you want to lay your panels out with your seam ripper. You're going to remove the bottom hem, and you'll do this for as many panels that you have. Once you've taken the bottom hem a loose. You want to take a loose, a portion of your side hems. I usually go up about four to five inches and I'll show you why later. Now once you have taken the hem out, you want to remeasure your drapes because you will gain a few inches by letting the hem out and you can use this to your advantage. I do like to press out my hems just so that the fabric lays a little flatter. Now with your fabric, I do not use the width of the fabric, I actually use the length. That's why using solid colors tend to work better when you're adding uh, length to your drapes. You don't have to match a pattern. So let's pin the side that's gonna get cut. And make sure you cut your fabric wide enough. Now what I'm doing is actually cutting the fabric in half. 
and I'll use one half for one drape and the other half for the other drape. So you want to lay your extending piece of fabric down with the face up and lay your drape with the face down on top of that piece of fabric. I'm using one pin just so that I won't go too far up and it'll kind of give me a guideline to put my tape. That's about a two inch space. You want to go ahead and measure your tape out. And if you have two panels, go ahead and cut two pieces. I'm using the heat and bond so it comes with a, a backing. That's where that stick pin comes in handy. Now you want to take your damp towel and just kind of lay it on your fabric and press it down. This allows the steam to really penetrate through all layers and allows the bond to really work. Once you've done that, it should look something like this. And you can check it just to make sure everything is stuck together. So what I like to do first is to kind of pre-iron in from the existing hem. It had a little small fold over and now I'm just trying to line everything up following the original hem. And you want to press that in first, get that memory back into your fabric. Now you will have a raw edge. I hate raw edges. So I'm going to actually fold a small portion of that under just so that it looks a little more finished and clean if you look behind the drape. Now you want to take a piece of tape and measure it out, slip it up under, make sure none of the tape is exposed because you don't want that to get on your iron. Use your damp cloth and now iron everything into place. And if you do this right, this stuff will definitely stick down. You're going to do the same thing for the other side. First you want to iron the memory back in. Size up your tape. Use your damp cloth and then iron everything down. Now with this raw edge, I like everything to look as finished as possible. So what we're going to do is just iron down a little memory hem. Add your tape. Use your damp cloth and iron everything into place. Now my fabric is cotton. Make sure that you use the appropriate iron settings for whatever fabric you have and you want to check it. Now since you have your pieces binded together, you want to remeasure. Now that I've added about 24 inches to my drapes, my measurement is 104 inches total, but I want my drapes to finish out at 96. So this will allow for me to create actually an 8 inch hem. I'm going to fold it up 4 inches. You just want to make sure that you measure that your hem is straight. Once you've established your first 4 inches, press that down. And then you can fold it up another 4 inches. Typically anywhere between a 2.5 to 4 inch hem is considered a professional hem. And this type of hem allows for your drapes to actually hang better. But adjust your hem to wherever you need your drapes to finish. You want to press that memory hem into place. Add your tape. Use your damp towel to, to help the steam penetrate. And then iron it into place. It may take a moment to get everything pressed down because you're going through layers of fabric. But once you're done, check everything. And then you can flip it over. So y'all, this is a very easy, no-so way to bring some length to your store-bought drapes. So if you guys have some drapes that you're wanting to lengthen, I would love to hear about it. So leave a comment. If you have any questions, feel free to do so as well. I want to send a special shout out to my cousin Tarshell Bryant. 
If you're new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe. And if you're already a subscriber, I've been missing you guys and y'all know how I feel about you. And until the next video.